All right, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different. I pulled this this uh, tablet out of the dust and uh, gonna see if it sounds a lot better than everything else. So far, I did a couple of test videos and it seems to sound okay. Um, just let me know what you guys think, um, how I sound and how the video sounds and everything. But um, today I'm gonna be doing this gonna be on this wicked uh whatever you want to call it i don't know this on this today show or whatever this this uh pastor is forming a virtual reality church it's one of the strangest things i've ever seen and one probably one of the creepiest things i've ever seen but it says dj soto is a former mega church pastor who started a new type of church one that takes place online in virtual reality it's called vr church and he says people feel like they can worship without judgment using the platform from their homes people feel comfortable opening up in that environment he says and um yeah he's really of god because he goes on a wicked show like this but um yeah we're gonna play a little bit of this video or play this video and uh just look how look how creepy it is if you could attend church from your home would you one former mega church pastor is betting yes DJ Soto spent years as a pastor at a mega church in Pennsylvania before he had a revelation. I think, unfortunately, the, the Christian church... Oh, boy, he had a revelation. <laughs> okay. ...has become a place where people feel judged, where they don't feel welcome. Soto told his wife and five feel judged. kids he wanted to start a new type of church in a new place where people have started congregating online in virtual reality in virtual reality they can just pop in and if you have a culture that's inviting i think it's very disarming for people they say to me this is the first time i've been in church in a long time and for from whatever religious experiences that they've had where they felt judged or neglected in vr and the culture that we've built they feel very welcome it's never too late to turn to god it's never too late to have faith or to pray. Soto's VR church service is available on a free virtual reality social networking app called Altspace VR. Oh boy, look at the nice pyramid there. One thing that's difficult for us is to try to explain virtual reality church. It's kind of like when Morpheus told Neo in the Matrix, you can't explain what the Matrix is, you have to experience it. And that's the same thing, because when we tell people about VR church, there's like, you know, we're not sure exactly what that is. But once they put the headset on and like look around in this 3D immersive environment, the light bulb comes on and they finally say, I completely understand now. Soto believes it's the anonymity in VR that draws people in, especially those who haven't attended a traditional church service in years. With the Oculus Rift headset, Soto says you feel like you're there, sitting in the church pew, participating in the service. When I raise my hands, people will see my hands raise up. And so it's, it's amazing technology. It's immersive in that sense, that you're just not a static avatar. You're like a, a moving, active, animated, avatar in that setting. Soto says in his VR church, it's easier for attendees to open up without judgment. In VR church, we're having those conversations about suicide and depression and mental health like right off the bat because few people feel comfortable just opening up in that environment. So it's, it's actually amazing. I think sometimes people think, well, it's, I don't know if it's going to be as good as the physical church service, but I think in many times the conversation even supersedes it just because of that authenticity. While thousands of parishioners have visited VR Church, Soto says the traditional church leaders he's contacted about the technology are not interested. I think there's some intrepidation with church leaders about virtual reality because they think my people in my physical churches are going to leave. But we don't believe that's the case. We believe as people attend virtual reality church, they're going to feel comfortable to go back into that physical space. So I think it's going to be going hand in hand in the future. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Um, I don't know what Pastor my... John Gray, he leads the... Okay. Anyway. Yeah, how about that? You know, no, we don't want to come to a place that judges you. You know, we want to go to a fake place in a fake world, have a fake avatar, and be something that we're not, and call it church. That's what it is. You know, um... Just plug in, plug yourself into the system, you know, plug yourself into the the interface, the network, and and live in a fake world in a fake church and never judges you. 
sounds just like the Antichrist to me. But it's really creepy, really bizarre. Um, you know, the Bible says it's staying, all, staying from all appearance of evil. And uh, it's definitely evil. You have some of those characters in there. You've seen some of those avatars. They looked very bizarre, like aliens, robots, and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, part of the Antichrist movement, without a doubt. Um, these people that plug themselves into the mark of the beast, you know, they're going to lose themselves. And they're going to lose who they are and become part of the beast. And when you get when you get into something like this right here, you you lose yourself. You lose who you are as an individual, you know. And and people will say, "Well, you're on YouTube. You make YouTube videos." Okay. I actually interact with people on Skype through emails, you know, stuff like that. Um in person. I don't have a fake computer program where I can go in there and have a fake reality and be something that I'm not, you know, and that's what this thing is. That's what this whole thing is. And it's just a place where you can, if you're a man, you can go in there and be as a woman or whatever. You can be a woman going there as a man, whatever. You can be a woman going there as an alien avatar. It's very creepy, very bizarre, and um, it's very wicked. You know, go, go in a place that doesn't judge people. That's what I will say about judging. You know, people need to people need to hear that they're sinners. If they don't want to hear that they're a sinner, they're not going to be saved. They shouldn't be in church at all. Um, where are they going? No, oh, yeah, Proverbs, Proverbs thirty-one. Open thy mouth and judge righteously. Plead the cause of the poor and needy. Oh, but that's Old Testament. That's a that's Old Testament. That has nothing to do with us today. Okay. Well, let's go to the New Testament then. No, we'll just use a simple one. John seven twenty four. Judge not a, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. First Corinthians two. Verse 15, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Okay. So yeah, it's in the New Testament as well. Malachi chapter 3, verse 18. It says, then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. See, his people don't serve God. They serve, they serve a figment of their imagination. You know, a God of their own imagination. So they go to a virtual reality. And that's their heaven. That's sad. And these people are going to die and go to hell. Because they have not been they have not heard the truth. They have not heard that they're a sinner. They have not heard the law of God preached to them. No, it's just come to a place and we won't judge you for who you are. We just want your money. See? Yeah, that's what the whole this whole thing is about. Just really creepy, really bizarre. And uh I'd like to hear you guys' input on as well. So but that's gonna be it. Uh thank you for watching.